Hey guys, um, so if you guys watched my vlog last week, I told you that I was doing a very fun thing at school this week. So we're doing absolutely no coursework and just two full weeks. Um, they call it week on the ward or wow week. So I had planned, it's the end of the day Monday and I planned to do a whole day today, but it was such a crazy day that I completely forgot my phone at home so I couldn't vlog anything. I didn't realize I left my phone until I pulled it out to vlog and didn't have it. Um, so in the morning I had ICU and that's intensive care unit. Um, and so basically we're first year med students. We have no idea what we want to specialize in. So this is like to give us a little taste of all the specialties. For me, intensive care was like, I don't think I would do that as a specialty. Like it was kind of sad. Like you're seeing people who are heavily sedated um, and just obviously in a critical condition. So I don't think I personally would like that, but it was very cool to see. And then emergency medicine was in the pediatric, I, um, pediatric emergency department today. So for the west, rest of the week, hopefully I don't forget my camera and I can show you guys like a little bit of the hospital. And actually at the end of this video, um, I'm going to do my first giveaway. So I'm like amazed and shocked at how like many subscribers I have. Like I never thought this many people would watch these videos. So I thought I would do pair up with like a cool brand that I just like discovered and I'm gonna pair up with them and do a giveaway. So that'll be announced at the very end of this video. Um, and I can tell you guys a little bit more about that. But until then, I, um, I guess I'll just do a weekly vlog from here and I'll show you guys how this week goes for me. And uh, yeah, tomorrow is OB and peds and I am like going to cry if I see a delivery so hopefully I see that tomorrow and I will see you guys. We finished um, our like wow day stuff. We had all this free time so we went food shopping and now we are finally going to put the finishing touches on our room so that stuff right there is like the photo picture frames that we bought and like hung up and didn't ever change the pictures and then this is a coffee no not a coffee this is a TV stand because we want to replace this bookshelf that's not really a TV stand that we just did removed in. This is a blanket on my head because I didn't have time to find a hegev. So we're going to start building this and I'll show you guys the finished product after. It's uh, 5.45 um, and I'm on my way to the hospital to go change into scrubs. I didn't have breakfast yet. Um, pros about this week, no class, cons, no sleep. We're all waiting. What do you want today? Um, I'm doing pediatrics. What do you want today? <laughs> we're just waiting to figure out where we're going. We just had, uh, we're a team today. We're with a, a certain doctor today and it's OB day and it's been so, so cool so far. It's just a coffee break because we're going into the OR a little bit later. So I want to document this moment and like I'm not done the day, but I just had like the craziest morning in OB. Um, I got to see a procedure, a laparoscopic like tube tying procedure, which was insane. So that was my first time watching, watching a procedure in the OR. Went right through lunch, skipped lunch, and now I'm in um, the peds ICU. And like, I don't even care that I didn't eat because today is just so freaking cool. And even the peds ICU is cool. So like, I'm having a really good day so far. Um, and I probably have to go right back. It's like four o'clock now. Um, so I'm gonna go finish up in the peds ICU. I'm learning so much here. Um, so I'll check in a little bit later. Uh, I just got really emotional. Um, I just saw a really sick kid in his family. Um, and I had to leave the room so I wouldn't cry, uh, but I feel better now, but it was just really sad. Like, really, really hard. Okay, so that's the end of day two, and I literally had the best, craziest, like, emotional roller coaster of a day ever. Um, but, so this morning I had OB, like I said, and I absolutely freaking loved it. I took like a test and it told me I was gonna be like 90, I think it was 97% OBGYN, and I was like, what? That like makes no sense, I don't wanna do OB. It told me 97%, and so like I was like, I don't even know what that's about, but I just went to um, shadow them for like not even a full day, it was like half a day, and it was awesome, so like I totally get why that quiz said that, and then the second half of the day was at the PICU, and it got the best of me. Um, it was really sad, but it wasn't even, not even sad about like the patient being sad, it was sad more like the parents and the family. It was either vegetative state or like ending life support. Um, so that was really sad. But now I'm like about to eat my lunch that I didn't eat because I'm starving. Not a good idea to go 12 hours 
without food, but I had coffee, so gonna eat my lunch. Um, and then probably watch This Is Us because I haven't even seen anything from the new season. And then tomorrow is internal medicine. It's the um, morning uh, internal medicine rotation. And I got a little bit of a slower start today. Um, but look at the sky. So far we had a I am all morning and now it's lunchtime. We have work and lunch. What do you think of I am? Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very you like it though? It's better nice to you. Yeah, I'll say. Much better. Definitely. Much more positive, much cooler. Like you're kind of all around the hospital. Yeah. Things um, are getting better to go home. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're about to have working lunch and then finish the day. And I am. Sounds cool. Yeah. I was just standing on the side doing nothing. Yeah. Hey guys. Like you said, like you said, this like is like super great anatomy. I feel like yeah. um, <laughs> eating lunch, uh, pizza and fries for lunch. But whatevs. Yeah, what you got in there? <laughs> 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 uh, I just got home after my day in um, internal medicine. So, okay, my day in internal medicine was I was following a group um, and the attending was a hospitalist. So we were rounding on, I think there was like, tw there were like 12 patients. So it was like, again, a another really, really cool day. I really liked internal medicine. I like ne obviously need to see way more of it before I can like say that I like it because I only saw like one um, person and what they do. Um, so now I just got back to my apartment and I have surgery tomorrow so it's going to be a really really long day so I think I'm um, going to shower and then jump in bed and watch Game of Thrones until I fall asleep which will be like 20 minutes after I get in bed. It's literally not even that late. It's like 7.30 um, but I'm ready to sleep because it's been a really long day. So yeah, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's uh, surgery day, um, and we just got here and we're about to go like meet up with the attendings and figure out what we're doing today. So it's a scrubs day, no white coat. We're scrubbing in, not scrubbing in. We're gonna observe a robotic prostate uh, surgery right now. About to head in. Just finished the day on surgery. Saw four really, really, really cool surgeries. I didn't expect to like it at all. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like surgery. I would never be a surgeon. But it was probably my favorite of the whole week, which is scary because lifestyle of a surgeon sucks. Um, hours are really long. I felt like I was high the whole time. It was such a thrill. So, so cool. We saw like the, them using a Da Vinci, which is like basically this robot that you control and you get to like be really intricate internally. So I saw a hysterectomy. I saw um, a lobectomy. A bunch of ectomies, a bunch of things were being removed from patients. So it was really, really cool, really cool day. Um, I might go back tomorrow to try to see a delivery. It's optional if we want to go back or not. So I really still want to see a delivery. So I might do that, but uh, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to sleep. I decided not to take a nap and come work out instead. So did I. I need my food. So we work out in our NPR, which is where we have a lot of our classes. And this is something called Steve's Club. So we we pair up um, with high school students from Camden. And I don't know if they want to be on camera yet, so I have to ask them. Best but decision of my we, life. <laughs> <Can Humpty Cooper. laughs> so we, um, all the equipment is in that door. And it's like CrossFit. So this is one of the high school students. What's your name? Natalie. What grade are you in? <laughs> she didn't want to be this. Senior in high school, right? Yeah. She's a beast. Like, she literally could lift this whole thing. So we're going to work out for like two hours, right? And she, I'm going to show you how she does because she like kills me and everything. <laughs> Why are you so serious? Why are you so serious? We're all heading to the Franklin Institute to see, what is it called? Guys? Uh, <laughs> nice guys, okay. It's like a planetary um, exhibit and it's really cute and it's at the Franklin Institute in the city, in my city, we're in Philly. Ah. Oh, the entire, so basically our entire class yeah. showed up because we're such nerds. Hi babe, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lex.com. This doesn't sound as good, but you know, it's kind of how people thought. Mike, yeah, no, Mike no. Singer. What's up? What did you think about um, the thing that we just saw? It was, uh, it was good. It was interesting. It was really good. Yep. 
Yeah, I liked it as well. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, what was I have a question for you. you. What was your favorite object that flew at you? Uh, probably the telescope, the if tel I had to say. Yeah. The telescope that was flying at you? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, guys, I got this. Mike, what was your favorite object that was flying at you? Uh, the tennis racket. The tennis racket, okay. Lauren, favorite object that was flying at you? Ski boots. Okay, see, that's what I was going for. Thank you. Something original. Let's go. Let's go, Maha. Maha. What was your favorite object that was flying at you? Um, excuse me. Hi. What would you recommend the event to other people in Philadelphia? Absolutely. It was very, very cool. They have like telescopes on on the roof of the building, and you can see it's a very fun event. Um, bring your friends. It's a lot of fun. guys so it's uh, Friday and we just finished everything that we're gonna do for the week so we just had a wrap-up session and talked about like our experience in the hospital for the whole week um, and I know I've been like vlogging throughout the week but I've been so tired that I don't think I've been accurately describing how it's been and it was absolutely amazing like the fact that we as two months into medical school we still know nothing and the fact that we're allowed to like see all of the different specialties and just be in the hospital like such a great experience going back to classes now with so much motivation to really learn and be a better student because I can see where it's going to be important. So I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog that I'm finally doing a giveaway. So it was supposed to be in honor of my 10k giveaway. So I reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and today I'm actually at like 12,000. So I mean, I guess this is 12k giveaway, 10k giveaway, whatever you want to call it. I'm just so grateful that people are like enjoying these videos and a lot of people have been saying that it's, you know, really inspiring them to pursue whatever dreams that they have, whether they're in medicine or not. So I'm just really happy that you guys are um, enjoying them. And in honor of this giveaway, so I've been using this bag all week and I just think it's, let, let me, like, let me give you guys a look at it. So check out the way I have it sectioned off in here. The way the pockets are set up is just so useful. So this is a sleeve for my laptop, slide in there. This is my planner, and if you guys have been following me, you know that I put everything in my planner. Wallet, here's my pencil pouch, um, and then here's just like some lip liner. I cannot live without my birth bees. And then here is a little uh, Reese's cup for when I need some chocolate boost. And then, like, again, the way it's sectioned off, so here's a little pouch for my water bottle, so it just goes conveniently into this little um, hole right there. Here's another zippered pouch. Just the way that they have designed this bag has been, like, really, really useful for me. So I've been thinking of, again, what to do for my giveaway, and I thought, you know, I love this bag so much, and I want someone else to enjoy it and love it so much. And just the brand, the what they stand for and what they do is really amazing, really good for anyone who's working, in school, anything like that. So pairing up with them, like I said, and doing a giveaway, and um, I'm not sure about all the details right now, but I know that you are going to have to follow me on... Um, Subscribe here and follow me on my YouTube, my Instagram page, which is maha.com, and I'll leave a uh, thing right here for you guys to see that. And then the bag company is called Dame, so it's D A A M E. Um, oops. And you guys can follow them. And once I have all the details, I will be posting it there, and it'll go live um, probably right as this video is being posted. And I'm really excited for you guys to do that. I hope whoever wins this bag loves this loves it and as much as I do and um, I hope you guys like this video and I I'm just so happy about this week and it's been amazing so I will um yeah I'll send the details on Instagram once I have them and I will see you guys in the next video bye